Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 6 in Beta Gamma Functions. And as always, the most important question and the 5 important points. And let's start. So today we are going to deal with two questions which look very different uh, than the usual questions you have seen. But with the help of the definition of gamma function or the gamma integral, you will be able to tackle that very easily. So please write prove that integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square dx is equal to root pi by 2. Now look at this. This question is very important um, uh, because sometimes the probability distribution functions which you learn later in statistics might be like this. And if you get a function in real life which resembles to e to the power minus x square, then there is only one person who can help you in integration that is our beta gamma functions. In this problem, the first thing I am going to make you do is, I want you to take a look at lesson number 1. In lesson number 1, I gave you the definition, the basic definition of our beta integral and gamma integral. And right now, I want only the gamma integral because it is like 0 to infinity. So, I am going to write gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx and I want you to be sure about one thing in a definite integral the variables do not matter and I have told you this so many times suppose you calculate integral 1 to 2 x square dx or you calculate integral 1 to 2 t square dt or you calculate integral 1 to 2 y square dy you can see that the answer remains the same why i told you this is in case you see something like 0 to infinity e to the power minus w w to the power n minus 1 dw look at this i have replaced x with the letter w then you must recognize this integral to be our gamma n is that clear okay so anyway uh, i want it to be very good with this integral because these look similar okay in all such questions because in this video and in the next video we are going to see these things again and again and again and the trick is very simple you just call this guy here because we want that negative to be t so look at this i am going to put x square is equal to okay so two things one is to change the limits uh, by the way this is an improper integral i know that but i am not going to do anything with that because i am not even going to evaluate it so look at this uh, if x equal to zero because this limit belongs to x if x equal to 0, t will be 0 square and 0 square is 0. And when x equal to infinity, the upper limit t will be infinity square and that is nothing but infinity. So, there is no change in the limit. And the next thing is, um, I am going to do one thing. I am going to write x is equal to t to the power 1 by 2. So, dx will be 1 by 2 t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 dt. I have x, uh, the differential of x and the limits. So, time to substitute. And you might be wondering why I didn't simplify this. No, I am not going to simplify that. So, in the next page, I am going to write t is equal to 0 to infinity. e to the power minus t. And dx becomes 1 by 2 t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 dt and I will take this 1 by 2 
and put it outside can any one of you guess what is this think about it please if you want i'll keep it in your favorite letter x no problem now look at this what is integral e to the power minus t t to the power n minus 1 dt if it is between 0 and infinity isn't it gamma n now look at this instead of n what we have here is 1 by 2 so that's it my friends the answer is 1 by 2 root pi I didn't even have to use any technique for improper integral I just found the answer and the answer is 1 by 2 root pi that's it let's try one more question which looks similar so please write evaluate the integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square x to the power alpha dx okay so once more i wanted to write the definition so please write gamma n equal to integral 0 to infinity tell me what's the definition of gamma integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx and i'll repeat whatever i told you earlier if you see integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus t t to the power n minus 1 i want you to recognize this to be as gamma n and the day you understand this you'll find this problem really easy so shall we start it's just like the previous problem so what we do is we take the character over here because I want e to the power minus t. That's the, that's the trick. So I'm going to put x square is equal to t. So first things first. That means t equal to x square. And these limits belong to x. 0 square is 0. So if x equal to 0, t equal to 0. If x equal to infinity, t will be infinity squared. That's too big. That's another infinity. So the limits are still same. And here I do a trick. x equal to t to the power 1 by 2. That means dx will be 1 by 2 t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 dt. Please note this trick. Earlier also I did the same trick. I didn't take the differential directly. I wrote x in terms of t and I kept it as such. So that's one important point. That's it my friends. Now time to substitute. So we get i is equal to integral t is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus t just as i expected x x who is x yeah this is our x t to the power 1 by 2 the whole power alpha and what is dx 1 by 2 t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 dt so what happens is this 1 by 2 moves outside and we get t equal to 0 to infinity e power minus t and let's apply loss of indices i get t to the power this is alpha by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 dt i hope you understood that part a power m into a power n is a power m plus n and this is t to the power alpha by 2 and this is t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 that's it that's it now can you tell me the answer anyone just take a look at this we have perfectly 0 to infinity e power minus t and instead of this n we have alpha by 2 plus 1 by 2 so the answer my friends will be gamma alpha plus 1 by 2 i took lcm that's it so that's it uh, that is a small video but these questions are very important and in the next video we will do similar type of questions but even more important because it is a product and uh, they have asked those questions in exam now and then anyway i'll be back soon with another video in beta gamma functions 
So till then, my friends, bye.